This video may be recorded to help in training for customer service. Stay on the line while we queue up The Daniel Natal Show. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky recently asked tech companies to help him refashion Ukraine into a technocracy. In an article on the subject, we read, Ukraine's president, Vladimir Zelensky, pleaded among big tech firms on Thursday, appearing as a hologram and referencing Star Wars in attempts to secure aid in his country's fight against Russia's invasion. Zelensky told a crowd of hundreds at the Vivitech trade show that Ukraine was offering technology firms a unique chance to rebuild the country as a fully digital democracy. He added, it's unusual for presidents or heads of government to use a hologram to address people. Okay, stop right there. Presidents and heads of state addressing people as holograms? What fresh hell have we entered where reality is breaking down and leaders are taking advantage of tech to scam the public with holograms? It's like spiking the public's drink with LSD and we suddenly see our leaders hoodwinking people with fakery such as the Queen of England did recently as she went on parade, or rather, as her hologram did. On Sunday, Her Majesty made a high-tech cameo in a parade through London as a hologram of her younger self. The golden carriage is from her coronation 70 years ago. The parade, enjoyed by Prince William and his family, and once again, little Prince Louis stole the show. If you think that this usage of tech seems far-fetched, watch Dave Nussbaum talk about his company's hologram booth here. I've always found most exciting about the hologram effect and hologram illusion industry uh, is the ability to beam anybody from anywhere to anywhere uh, in real time. So what we've decided to do was we shrunk these giant hologram stage apparatus from big arena stage pieces into what you see right here. This is Portal. It's the size of a vending machine. Uh, It fits in the corner of a room and it beams in a 4K resolution image in real time. You can create, (laughs) you can beam anybody from anywhere to anywhere in real time. And when you're looking into the camera, you're looking into your audience's eyes. Perhaps usage of such a booth led to the perplexity of the faithful recently when they thought they were watching the Pope address a crowd, and then he suddenly winked out. This new fad seems part and parcel of another emerging trend regarding actors who were deployed to give the public the impression that they're catching sight of royalty, when in fact, what they're seeing is people in masks. See here. Here we can see a public appearance by Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle. See if you can spot anything unusual. If we watch that again, keep a close eye on Meghan Markle. She seems to be acting strangely. Some viewers have noted that she almost looks robotic. She moves strangely and she seems to have a blank look in her eye. When this footage went live, theories ran rife as to what's actually happening. Some suggested it might actually be a stand-in wearing a mask, perhaps for Meghan's own safety. If this seems like a strange development, consider former CIA asset John Amendez, who was in charge of making realistic-looking masks for the government. My name is John Amendez, and I was chief of disguise at the CIA. One of the things that was going on when I was chief of disguise was an enormous uh, research program into the new advanced disguise system. It was basically the masks that everybody always wondered if we used masks, and this was the beginning. This is a series of photographs of when I met George H.W. Bush in the Oval Office and revealed to him that I was briefing him wearing a mask. Now, in particular, and regarding this photograph, it is a Giddy's image photograph. If you go to the link, you can see the photographer, all those kinds of details, who took it. So what is the anomaly with this particular photograph? Tell me you're a figurehead without telling me you're a figurehead.
What bizarre time period have we wandered into when putative heads of state are now like actors in a Ronald McDonald suit for a franchise grand opening, or one of many Santa's helpers who dress up like St. Nick over the Christmas season? The fact that we're now expected to accept that our alleged leaders are in absentia, portrayed by holograms or actors in costumes, really is suggestive of a political system that is as fictitious as the Easter Bunny. The fact that the oligarchs pulling these puppet strings have such little respect for our putative representatives should send a chill up the spine of every American and every person across what was once known as the free world. If you've gotten this far, you must be partial to our content. If you haven't already, head over to thenewamerican.com and subscribe to our print magazine published twice a month in print and daily online. It's the essential news source for freedom-loving Americans.